Hey friends, this is Nancy with a special invitation that you and your family check out the Clubhouse. The Clubhouse is a community for Catholic kids. We offer incredible live events each month where we craft, we pray, we learn about virtues with Sir Roland, and we talk to a real life religious order. It's an incredible experience. I just love being on these calls, meeting you, and growing in the faith with you. So if you'd like to check it out, just check the notes for this podcast episode. Each week we have a different live event, and I'll be thrilled to see you there. Okay, here's today's episode. You're listening to Catholic Sprout, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Monday, August 5th, 2024. This week on the Catholic Sprouts podcast, we are launching into an exciting new series. I know many of you are starting to think about heading back to school. And so to help you with this, we are launching into the ABCs of the Catholic faith. Now we have picked out some fun, important, and perhaps unusual words that Each one for each letter of the alphabet. We're kicking things off this week with the letter A, which is for apostolic succession. Super important. And so we're going to be talking about apostolic succession all week. But first, please join me in our August prayer, the Memorare. The reason we are learning or relearning the Memorare is because August is the month that we celebrate Mary's Assumption into Heaven. And August is also dedicated to a relationship with Mary. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O virgins of virgins, my mother. To thee I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word Incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer me. Amen. So as I said, A is for apostolic succession. So what is apostolic succession? Well, apostolic succession is what we refer to in the creed when we say that we believe that we belong to the church who is Holy Catholic Apostolic. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, apostolic succession is the historical continuation or connection between the present church, where we are right now, and its origins. The very first members of the church who were the apostles. So it's this idea that there is, you know, through God's grace, there is this transfer of the very authority that the apostles had, that it didn't die with them, that it has continued on, that it has succeeded from one person to a next in a long line, all the way through history to this very present moment. Now, apostolic succession, we think of it in two ways. Number one, that bishops, all of the bishops on the face of the earth right now, every bishop in the Catholic Church has received the authority that the apostles once had, that that very authority that they received at Pentecost when the Holy Spirit descended upon them, that that authority has been transferred to them. Now, I probably don't have to tell you this, but there are a lot more than 12 bishops in this world. And yes, there were only 12 apostles. So this is not a one-to-one sort of transfer or succession. The 12 apostles went out into the world. They shared the good news with all people. The church grew. There are now Catholic churches in every country. Mass is said in every language. There are millions and millions of Catholics. So we need more than 12 bishops. 
And yet that same authority, because remember, God is infinite. So his authority has been spread over all of the bishops and archbishops that serve the church. Now, we think of this as the bishops, the living, breathing men that serve as bishop right now. But we also think of authority as something that lives in the church. It doesn't depend on one specific person. It's something that is held, as we say, in the office. That we say the authority vested in the office of bishop. And it started with those apostles as the first bishops, all bishops that have come that have all served this office, that that authority given to them by God has been uninterrupted. It has been continuous and it is strong and present in the church now. So that is what we mean by apostolic succession. We are not disconnected from the early church. We are not, we don't just look at the apostles as historical figures. We know that the very authority that they had continues to exist in the church, that we are led by people with the apostolic authority. And those people are our bishops. So we're going to keep talking about that all week long, apostolic succession. Before we do that, however, I challenge you this day to pray for your bishop. If you don't know your bishop, or maybe there's an archbishop and several auxiliary bishops where you live, I challenge you to find out the name of your bishop, ask your parents, do some Googling, and pray for that man by name. He, yes, does have apostolic succession. He enjoys the authority that God gave the apostles, but he is still a human being, and he still would be, I'm sure, very grateful for your prayers. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow. But until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. Just one more thing. This Saturday, we are gearing up for our craft club inside the clubhouse. We are going to be making a beautiful Marian craft under the direction of our craft leader, Therese. I hope that you will be there, that you can join the conversation and the fun as we create something beautiful. If you aren't part of the clubhouse, now is a great time to join. Just check the notes for this podcast episode to find that direct link. I'll see you there. This podcast is part of the Spoke Street Network. For more great podcasts, visit Spokestreet.com.